With Halloween behind us, we're now officially in the final month of hurricane season, which began back in early June. Yeah, but with no systems expected to form over at least the next seven days, is hurricane season officially or at least unofficially over? Storm Team Meteorologist Matthew Huddleston has a look at uh, why it's so difficult to get November storms. So far this season, the Atlantic Basin has seen 13 named storms, with five becoming hurricanes and four gaining major hurricane status. Category 5 Melissa devastated parts of Jamaica and Cuba just last month, but time is thankfully running out for any more named systems this year. So far, we have seen those 13 named storms, but we are in the last month, just about three weeks left until the season ends on the 30th. We sit right here on the third of the month, of course, but even so, it's far from impossible to have hurricanes in November, with a few even reaching the Carolinas over the years. Since 1851, there have been 42 hurricanes to form during the month of November. Of those, just five traveled all the way to our region and impacted the Carolinas, four as weakening lows or tropical storms. But North Carolina has had one November hurricane landfall, which took place way back in 1861. That was number eight here before they actually had names with sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. Now, here's an overall breakdown of when tropical formation typically takes place. As you can see, only 5% of activity typically happens in November, with a whopping 78% happening between August and October being the peak months each year. There are several reasons for this. First of all, the water temperatures in the Atlantic Basin are getting a lot cooler. Now, the Gulf Stream is still on the warmer side, still seeing a temperature of 82 degrees just off the southeast coast, but a lot closer to home. Water temperatures are a lot chillier, seeing just the 60s for the immediate coastal zones of the Carolinas. Something else that really impacts the tropical formation is the fact that we're now getting several cold fronts a week, several dips in the jet stream as well. This kind of acts as a blocking mechanism for any storms that try to make their way towards us. They get bumped back out to sea instead. The last thing is upper level winds. They are very strong for this time of the year with the jet stream that kind of tears apart any tropical systems. It doesn't allow them to really get going or get close to the United States. So the good news is the National Hurricane Center doesn't have any formation chances over at least the next seven days, but it is still a lot left in the season. As we know, it's not over until it's over.